the Jackson County Public Library. And I'm Blueberry. Yeah. We are already almost to the end of October. And I bet everybody is getting ready for Halloween. Blueberry, are you getting ready for Halloween? I'm tired of Halloween. Oh, well, I have some good news for you. The day after Halloween is a holiday too. In Mexico and other parts of Latin America, the day after Halloween, November 1st, is called Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos. On Day of the Dead, people remember their ancestors and friends who have died. Some people believe that on this day alone, the spirits of the dead can visit us in the land of the living. Halloween is sometimes a scary holiday. Uh, the Day of the Dead, even though it sounds scary, is supposed to be a celebratory holiday about love and remembrance. Everybody, Blueberry has a big word that he would like to share with you. Cultural appropriation. Now, that's a big word, but here's what it means. Cultural appropriation is different than cultural appreciation. Cultural appreciation is good. And some ways that you can show this on Day of the Dead are by going to a local Mexican restaurant, remembering your own relatives who might have passed away, or learning how to make and play a game, such as the one we're going to do today. What we don't want to do is cultural appropriation. And that is when we take aspects of somebody else's culture and use them as though they are our own. Examples of this would include wearing a sombrero, wearing skeleton makeup, wearing a Native American headdress, a hairstyle significant to a different culture, such as dreadlocks, wearing makeup or tattoos that have significance in other cultures. It is important and good to appreciate other cultures, but it is also important to remember that somebody's culture is not a costume. So, when you're getting ready for Halloween, or if you want to celebrate Day of the Dead, anything that is culturally significant for a different group is probably not something that you should wear just because it looks cool. Does that help, Blueberry? No, I'm confused. <sighs> That's okay, it's confusing. If you have more questions, you can always ask a responsible adult or you can visit the library. We have an entire foreign language section in the youth services area at the library. Most of these books are either in Spanish or they are bilingual, which means they are in Spanish and in English. And there are all kinds of books here about Latinx culture and traditions love to appreciate culture and one way we can do that is by learning how to make and play a game from Mexico. The game is called La Piranola and you can play this with your family on Day of the Dead or any other day of the year. To make La Piranola you will need a piece of cardboard, a popsicle stick, 30 game pieces, I am using dry pasta, paint or markers, I'm using markers, scissors, and maybe a glue stick. To start off, I'm going to draw this hexagon onto the cardboard. If you got an activity bag from the library, this stencil is included. If you didn't get a bag though, you can just draw a hexagon, which has six sides. Next, I'm going to use my scissors to cut out the hexagon. Now, decorate your hexagon. Make sure that on at least one side, the decorations are light enough that you will still be able to write words. Now, using your stencil as a guide, divide your hexagon into six small triangles that are the same size. Ta-da! Now, using your stencil, write the words from each of these triangles on their corresponding triangle on your piece of cardboard. 
The words we are writing are in Spanish, but you can also write the English words if you would like. Ta-da! Now, I'm going to use my scissors to cut a small hole in the middle of the hexagon. Once you've cut your hole, put the popsicle stick through the hole so that the hexagon is about halfway down the stick, like this. And now your pitanola is finished. To play La Piranola, you need one top, at least two people, and about 30 game pieces. All right, here's Blueberry. I'm going to give him 15 pieces, and I'm going to take 15 pieces. To start off, both of us will put one piece into the center, the pot. This is Blueberry's piece. He seems tired today. I'm going to go first, so I will spin the piranola. Make sure your words face up. And whatever instruction lands at the top is what I do. This one says toma dos. And so I'm going to look at my translations and toma dos means take two. That means I take both of the pieces that are in the pot. Now it's Blueberry's turn. The game ends when one person has all the pieces. Blueberry! Okay, I'll spin for you. This landed on todos ponen uno, which means Everyone puts one. Okay, everyone, Blueberry just spun this. And it says, toma todo. That means take all. Blueberry gets to take all of these pieces. just landed on Toma Toto. He gets to take all of these. I don't have any pieces left. That means Blueberry is the winner. <laughs> you can call the library and make an appointment to come visit. And as always, you can also just call us to put books on hold.